Hello and thank you very much for joining me in the studio today where we paint away the stress of everyday life today. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a stress-free painting today because the way things are in the world, we need a little bit of stress relief. So what I've got to do is a nice warm sun, sun, sunset Serengeti type of look. I don't know. It's up here. It'll be on the canvas shortly. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, this is a place to be if you've never painted before to give things a try, especially in acrylics. And um, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Give me a, a, a send me a comment down there. I'll try to get it to, to, to comments to as many people as I possibly can. And don't forget to press that like button if you just like what you see today, or don't if you don't want to. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We are not here to be stressed. Okay, so enough said. Let's have a look at the color colors that we're going to be using on the palette. Today. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. So straightforward, straightforward uh, palette we got of colors. We've got some mid red. Um, we've got some mid yellow. We have got, um, I think it, it's actually Naples yellow. Yeah, it's Naples yellow. There we go. It's a, that's that one there. That's the Naples yellow. I'm just cleaning up my little pot because I want to put some water in it. We're just going to use plain old tap water today. Just plain old tap water today. So, and um, and I've got some Prussian blue, some Mars black and white, which I normally use. Um, and that's it, really. So if you haven't got any Naples yellow, don't worry too much about that. Just make yourself up um, a little bit of, it's like a little bit of an orangey colour. If you look at it, let's have a look. Let's see what we can do. So if you haven't got any Naples yellow, you've just got some ordinary yellow. Let's just put a little bit of yellow there. Just the smallest amount of of red to that. There you go. Smallest amount of red. So you've got that. You don't want a lot of red, so be careful. You need to just make that up like that. And then just add a little bit of titanium white to it. There you go. A little bit more titanium white. So let's add a little bit more red. This is not going to be a Naples yellow. But it's going to be a colour that you could possibly use in its place. There you are. As you can see, that's a lot creamier than the yellow itself. But I would tend to just to take that down just a bit lighter, like that. So it's a bit of an orangey, pale orangey colour. There we are. And you can play around with that and get it roughly where you want it. So uh, if so, you haven't got any Naples yellow, just play around with a bit of um, white, a bit of yellow, and a little bit of a little bit of red, and you're going to get approximately that type of colour. There we are, you can see there. It's not far off. So that's what you want to do. So don't fret, you can always mix colours even if you've got a limited palette. So don't ever, ever, ever fret. Okay, with that said, let's have a look at our, our canvas. Now this is a 15 by 12 piece of cardboard because I use cardboard because it's just easier for me to store. And um, I just absolutely love painting on cardboard. Now I've put a gesso on now, which is a chalk brace primer, which helps with acrylic. Um, if you haven't got any gesso, don't worry. Um, there's there's links in the iCards up there that will show you how to make this stuff. And, um, and I've just added a little bit of um, the Naples yellow to it just to give me a ground because I didn't want that bright white of canvas showing through. So I'm going to go straight in. A little bit of moisture on my brush. You notice I'm not dipping my brush in too deeply. And I'm just going a nice bright, whoa, look at that, nice bright sky in like that. I just want to spread this around. We that's going to be a that's going to be a bright sky because we want a bright. I've been painting so many different co cold type of paintings, and I thought I'm going to get a bit of Naples yellow in there as well. There we are. Just put a bit of Naples yellow in there just to tone that down a bit. There we are. Just just make it look a bit different. Maybe a little bit of red as well. It's just just a smallest amount of red on there. And as I said, just make this up as you go along. Just get that sky to look warm and inviting. There we are, just a little bit more red, I think. Just a little bit more red here and there. 
and there in here and just spread that in because we don't want it too bright we don't want it too bright we don't want that yellow to be overwhelming we need to blend that in blending is a way of getting these colors to to look as if they've merged together and as we progress down what we do then is we add a little bit more red a little bit more red onto our brush and just mix that color in like this and get that warm sky type of look as you would get in the Serengeti. You know, if it gets a bit sticky, get yourself a fine mist bottle. That's one of these things. And just give it a little, just a little squirt, just a little squirt like that. And then this add a bit more red. And a little bit more red again. Just in there like that spreading it along we can get a little bit of that red and just use the edge of the brush like I'm doing now very likely very very likely just to caress the the canvas get some more red building that red up it's getting warmer and warmer as we go towards the base warmer and warmer a little bit more red and make sure that this point we do oops I just lost my kitchen roll make sure that this point we get as much of that yellow off our brush as we can because what I want to do now is add a bit more red down here and then put a nice big chunk of red put a nice big chunk of red in like that and then get some Prussian blue and add a bit of Prussian blue in there like that now that's going to make a a violety purpley type of color down there and it's going to start looking like a Serengeti warm type of um, landscape you feel get a bit more red sorry a bit more Prussian blue down there and do it on a bit of an arc like that look do it on a bit of an arc like that more Prussian blue again and this time I had a little bit of black just a little little tiny little bit of black a little bit of Prussian blue black and Prussian blue and get this really really dark then a little bit of moisture on the brush a little bit of black, a little bit of uh, Prussian blue, get it really dark like that. And what you've got then is a nice warm type of background that we can play with and make our, our design up like that. Wow, now I'm just going to pick up my kitchen roll off the floor because I've dropped it oh. and it's come off its stand. So what I wanted to do now is practice blending and I think the more you practice something the better you become at it and um, don't ever be despondent if, you, if, if things haven't gone the way you wanted them to do and they don't um, look the way you want them just keep 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 at it keep the process going keep keep practicing keep painting and you will eventually get there. Trust me, you will. Now you need to dry this off. I use a, a hairdryer. Um, I'll, I'll dry this out until it's dry. It could take me a couple of minutes. Um, but the video will be cut. So it'll look as if I've done it very quickly. But I haven't. Now you spent a little bit longer than I just did there. Because that took me about two minutes. Maybe you want to make sure it is 100% dry. Go and have a cup of coffee or... Um, Go and um, make yourself a drink or whatever you want to do. Um, gla grab a glass of wine. Why not? Why not? <laughs> so, um, we need to wash my brush very well like that. I want to get some 
yellow and I'm just going to thin that down really well with a little bit of water like that there you go and just make a little wash and all I want to do is just go over very quickly the whole paint and that's why I said make sure it's dry because you you don't want to pick up the color and all I'm doing there is I'm just making it look even that's all it is I just want to make that even look and I want that glow over the surface as well you can see there's a little bit of green because I'm picking up a little bit of that blue so the blue and the yellow is mixing a little bit of green so it's it's taking that edge off which is fine I'm happy with that I can I'm working with that because I wanted to put some trees or something there anyway so just don't fight it just allow things to happen and um, you can't you can't make mistakes really with it you can't make mistakes really with acrylics you just you just learn to live with them and try and um, manipulate manipulate them manipulate them <laughs> to your advantage again take a little bit of time make sure that's 100 percent dry um, and just enjoy the painting process that's, that's all i've got to say today is just paint the way that stress of everyday life um, as i do here in wales and um, thank you very much again as i said for joining me here today so i got to get a little bit of this um th this color that we made up i'm just going to add some more white to it and to bring a bit more yellow into it there we go because i want to make a sun and i thought i don't want to i don't want a sun that's too bright but we'll see what this looks like. I want a little bit of yellow to it. So don't o don't overload your brush. Take a little bit of paint off your brush like that. Use a little bit of kitchen roll like I'm doing, because you can leave the paint on there and you can use that as a, a little palette. <laughs> you can. So find a point where you are happy, and put the brush on, and then just turn the brush to make your sun like that. We'll just let that dry. We can add a little bit more um, colour to that in a second. Now, that's looking pretty good, I think. It is. Let's dry that off very quickly. Get a bit of yellow then. I got a little detail brush. I'm going to use my mark stick. This is a stick, basically just a stick to rest your hand. That's all it is. Don't, don't, don't worry too much about all these terms and things that you use some days. This is just a stick to rest your hand. You can make one of these sticks out of any bit of wood that you find. And put a cork on the end. It's as simple as that. Don't go off to spending loads of money on things like this. And I get a little bit more white because I want this to look really hot. And just enjoy the paint. I can hear the rain pitter pattering on the roof of my studio today. It's been quite cold here in Wales lately. It's um it's nice to hear a bit of rain actually and I hope you're all staying well and safe where you are because we're in currently in in a lockdown here in Wales and this this is a nice way to actually um, de-stress with all the problems we've been having with this nasty virus um, over the months but I'm sure things will eventually get better so I'm just mixing a little bit of our orange up now and I'm going to put a few I'm going to make that a little bit stronger I'm going to put a few these floaty little clouds that you see sometimes 
in the sky. There we are. Just a few. Maybe the sun is just catching a couple of them and just lightening them up a bit there. Like that. There you go. Maybe, maybe even. We get a bit of red. Let me just wash that brush because I've got a bit of yellow in my brush. And um, it turned a bit green then. So it's red and Prussian blue, a bit of white, a bit more Prussian blue. You can see that's a lovely colour. Or maybe just a few. shadows on a few of these clouds maybe and you can see there you go <laughs> you do whatever you want with uh, that one so yeah i'm gonna i'm i'm, I'm what am i gonna do i don't know let's, let's find i i've just got all these brushes in here and I'm just going to use certain brushes, uh, I think I'm just going to, what have I got? This one I haven't used for a while. I'm going to use some, again, that um, red and Prussian blue. I'm going to put a one of these. Serengeti type of trees that we find out like this. Let's get a bit of let's get a bit of light. Catching. Like that. So you don't know where where the ground starts and stops and the sky starts and stops. It's a bit of a mixture. It's a bit hmm really makes you look. It really makes you look. So let's get let's get a thin this is what I call a strip lining brush. Let's just bring a few branches up. And this is a good way to practice branches because not everybody can do these branches. It takes a lot of practice actually. You think it's easy, but it isn't. You just keep it's like everything else, you just need to keep working at something. The more you work at something, the better it'll become, the stronger it becomes. Like steel. Steel is only strong because it's worked and forged and, and stuff. I don't know. Like that, <laughs> I think. We need a little brush now. Let's get a. We'll use this little brush. This is just a short flat. Again, going into that Prussian blue, red mix. And then just get your brush on a side like this time. Because these leaves tend to do that, don't they? On these trees, they tend to, they tend to look like that. Well, it's definitely a warm painting today. <laughs> it definitely is a warm painting today. Don't destroy all your branches. You've got to try and leave some of them showing through. Of 
could be like one of those Japanese type of um, trees as well, couldn't they? Reminds me a bit of that. When you let your imagination flow, just don't think, just let things happen. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, but you know, you can get some wonderful paintings done by just letting your imagination run with you. Could have a giraffe standing there, could we eat in his food? <laughs> you could put a lion or something in there, you could put I don't know. It's a simple and effective way to do a painting really. Put a bit of light catching. Maybe here and there. There you go. <laughs> you could get um, a stippling. I just dropped my brush in the, in in some paint. Look, oops, I've done it again. <laughs> you could get some. You could get some um, Prussian blue some red just check a little bit of yellow to it we could put some bushes and stuff in like that Just practice, just play, just honestly, just just have fun. It, it there's there's no rules. There's no rules to art. There's no rules to to just painting for painting's sake. And there is no rules, especially when you want to just chill and relax and paint away the stress of everyday life. And, and that's all I try to do is encourage you to pick up a paintbrush and see what fantastic worlds that you can create. Give yourself a time scale of 20, 30 minutes, an hour, whatever, whatever's comfortable, whatever's comfortable. Give yourself a time scale and think, okay, what, what can I possibly do? What can I possibly do in that time? You know, you could paint, you could paint a little rock, maybe put a little rock in. Just catching a bit of catching a bit of light like that. You just just have fun. Just allow your imagination. Allow your imagination just to to run wild. Just to run wild, maybe. And as I said, see what type of things you can create. The worlds you can create are in your imagination and, and you're only limited to your own imagination. So let it loose, have fun, enjoy, de-stress and paint away that stress of everyday life with myself on a weekly basis every Monday at 7.30 Greenwich Mean Time. So until next week, have a go, have a go. You never know until you try. And if you fail, there's no such thing as failure. It's just that you haven't succeeded yet. So keep on going. And you will get there. Trust me, you will. Thank you very much. See you next week.